Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is Lord of War 35, and today I want to go over some changes that have been made to the Shapo games. So I'm going to read this post by Laser Tester. So he says, essentially for the last two to three months, Library Addict has been polishing and pruning his Libs Hunger Games plugin, and today I have implemented all of his changes into the large update. Uh, most of all, most or all of the previously broken kits should be fixed. That is good, so like kits like Disciple and Hammer Timer should work now. A few new ones have been added. Uh, the new kits that have uh, have not been added to the shop yet though. So, and he says if you have used the new kits, message him about them and stuff like that. Um, some notable changes. The kit selector now has pages. So you can, they're not limited to how many kits they can have, which is awesome. Uh, when you're spectating after death, you right-click your compass, and you get a selection menu of players to spectate. Uh, they fixed lots of kits. They added a few new ones. Jedi, this is good for me, will no longer try to push or pull players who are spectating. That's great for me. Uh, mob spawns have been unthrottled. So that basically means that uh, more hostile mobs will spawn, <laughs> which is good. And they did a bunch of other stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to X out of that, and we're going to take you into the game, and I'm going to show you the new kits that they added and some of the features. So, we're just going to go into hopefully one that has a decent amount of time. Okay, I can do it in a minute and 30 seconds. So here you go. Um, this is the new kit menu, and so there's a page. That's how you go forward. That's how you go backward. Alright, so now they have boom ta or Bombtastic. When you kill a creeper, it has a 1 in 3 chance of dropping TNT. Uh, Born, it scrambles people's compasses when they get within 25 blocks. Butcher, you kill any animals um, in 2 hits, no matter what you have. Ghost, you have invisibility for the invincibility period. Um, over here, we have uh, Herobrine. I don't know, I guess it makes you escape or something. I'm not sure how that works. So you'll have to check that out. So icicles, when you hit somebody, uh, it freezes their hand for 10 seconds so they can't switch their items, and that will uh, have a 20 second cooldown. And then over here, linkage, you are given two teleporters, and you place them and can teleport between them. And other people can also teleport between them, so be careful on that. If your teleporter is broken, it respawns in your inventory, so they don't get it. Uh, library Addict gives you five exploding books that you chuck as a grenade. And uh, that is all the extra kits that they added. And it said that they fixed a bunch of kits. So here we go, guys. Uh, we're actually going to start up in this game here. Uh, we're going with the old lightsaber. So, um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, I'm probably going to try to die pretty quick, though, to show you the spectate thing which is uh, good. So, well, not good that I'm dying, but I'll just get a wood sword just for the fun of it. Uh, maybe do some trolling, because that's always fun. Um, but yeah, let's go with the crafting table. Um, and we'll, we'll just make ourselves a wood sword. We'll go with that. And, and we'll look around. We'll look around. We'll see if, uh, see if we can find something here. Um, so I seem to be getting a tad bit of lag, but that's good. That's, well, it's okay. I can deal with it. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're just gonna <coughs> try and murder this pig. It's probably someone in MD, actually. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, uh, so I think uh, I want to talk about the extra kits and stuff. Uh, I think the most useful out of the new kits would probably be the icicles one. Because if you sneak up on somebody and they're like eating like chicken nuggets or something and you attack them, you know, they can't switch weapons. So if you get a good few attacks on them, there's nothing they can do about it. So here, uh, it appears that I'm lagging pretty hard. Um... The invincible counter is still going down, though. So I don't know quite what's going on. We made that beautiful jump. 
And there's five seconds left of invincibility. So, here's an Enderman. It appears that I cannot do anything, so... I don't know. Should I just jump in here? Alright, I'm being hit by somebody. So I'm just gonna let him do that. Let him kill me. Doing this. Alright, there we go. So we got into spectate mode after such extreme lag. So we're right clicking with the compass. And now this menu is really cool. Uh, I really enjoy this. Um, it uh, sorts it by kit. So, you know, he's a shot bow, he's a longbow tracker. It has all the kits by each other, I believe. So it's survivalist and butcher and stuff. But they're all on one page now. Uh, there's two pages if there is enough. And then when you scroll over a name, it shows you how many kills they have, what kit they are, and their name. Yeah, so let's say I want to... Who has the most kills? Uh, let's see if we can find someone with a lot of kills. So these guys have zero. Oh, we had a four there for a second. So I guess we can't find anybody with any kills, so... Oh, he's the tinkerer. I eat creepers. You just want to click on... Uh, his his little uh, icon in there and you instantly spectate him so maybe I want to s this guy he is also in a hole you know static I'll, in I'll spectate them they're all in holes guys so so those are just the new features uh, I, ha I didn't really get to show off the mob spawning but trust me uh, there is a lot more hostile mobs and it's a lot more exciting gameplay so I urge you to check it out, guys. So I think that's about it for this video. I'll see you next time.